shopping, sales, decorated trees, twinkling lights and ornaments. That's what people think of today when they think of Christmas. But Relevant Radio, a national Catholic broadcasting network, is hosting a worldwide interactive family Christmas rosary novena in an attempt to bring Christ back into Christmas. About a month ago, Father Rocky had the idea of doing this family Christmas rosary novena. And we kind of explored different options, and it's it's organically grown throughout the process. I have just helped to coordinate with the families, um, get the studio ready, and then try to work with our marketing and our other communication personnel and how we can let our whole network know about this. So even though it's being produced here in our Chicago studio, um, we really want this to be a rosary that's being prayed around the world, and so we need to get the message out. Um, so we just worked as a team to put it together. Father Rocky Hoffman is the executive director of Relevant Radio. He explained why radio is such an effective tool in the new evangelization. When uh, a person is listening to the radio and you're doing evangelization, the listener never feels threatened because they initiate the conversation. And so at church, you always know who you're talking to, you see who you're talking to, and you might be a little bit more reserved and people may not be as receptive. So if I came up to you on the street and said, can I talk to you about Jesus? Out of politeness, you may say yes, but you'd be a little bit defensive. It's a little bit abrupt. It's a little bit awkward. But with radio, you never have that. And so we find this marvelous connection with people. They hear something on the radio, and they hear it again and again and again, and it seeps into their consciousness, and it leads to conversion. And so we know here in our major cities that when we're broadcasting, our listeners are listening to us about six hours a week. That's right at the top, top of time spent listening of any station in a metro area. They listen to us six times a day, 11 minutes at a time and so we've got their attention for six hours a week compare that to the average Catholic goes to mass one hour a week we've got them six times as much time so what we're trying to do is reach people stuck in traffic jams in big cities around the country with something that can help them inspire them teach them encourage them and help them on their journey one and we'll pray for you and with you because here we are we're families praying with our family for our families Mary welcome to the show and how can we help you this evening I think one of the goals of Relevant Radio is to bring Christ into everyday life everywhere, every day, every minute, to try to help people out in the world when they're busy uh, appreciate their faith in a new way. And I think at Christmas time especially, sometimes that's lost in our culture. We have about 18 families joining us this year. And the ages range um, from fam young families with young children to very large families to couples um, to families who are, have, you know, the grandparents are coming with some of their children and grandchildren, so multi-generational families. And all of them have been Relevant Radio supporters and part of our Relevant Radio family um, from the beginning. And we are excited to be able to open up our home here because we've, um, though we've been in Chicago for many years, this specific location, it's only been about a year and a half. So finally, we're ready to kind of host and open up our doors uh, for a Christmas occasion. Relevant Radio invited Catholic TV into its Chicago studios to meet just some of the families participating in this special event. Praying a rosary novena leading up to Christmas helps us all to remember that um, we've dedicated our lives to Mary and that preparations for Christmas are more about preparing for the peace of our Lord coming into our lives and not about the hustle and bustle of the world. John and Molly Kurt brought their four children, Caroline, Michael, Jack, and Thomas, to participate in the Rosary Novena. They were joined by Stephen and Peggy Thorderson. Peggy spoke about why she and her husband took part in the first night of the Novena. Well, we're here because we were asked, which was quite an honor. We both listened to the Rosary at night at 8 o'clock and follow along and it's, it's just a wonderful way for us to spend time together and pray for our children. The most common word that was present in emails, in the response emails was honor. And this is such an honor. And you could just sense the family's excitement about it. Um, and one family in particular shared a story about how they were practicing the rosary at home and they were kind of gearing up for it. Um, kind of training for a marathon, but um, a spiritual one, I guess. So that really actually um, encouraged me a lot more, too. Again, I, I was always positive about this, but I, I did not anticipate 
um, the um, kind of the joyous response of uh, the participants. The Relevant Radio Christmas Family Novena Rosary runs for nine days, concluding on Christmas Eve, and it may become a yearly event. I, um, I just sense that this is going to end up continuing each year because, A, it's a great thing. The response to the families was wonderful. And then as we were coming together with this, we kept thinking of more and more families we'd want to um, invite to participate. So I think it's something that, um, that is going to grow each year. And I think all those that participate will not forget about this. Um, being with Father Rocky, being in the studio here, um, and we just are excited to see this tradition grow. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen.